I'm standing here with Michael and his lovely family and Cheryl and your Cheryl Anthony and Anthony and uh, anyway they just showed up here a couple days ago at the uh, Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous here at Itchituckney Family Canoe and Cabins you've got a 7 by 18 is that correct That's correct yeah and uh, it's really really pretty I like the color too yeah it's very similar to ours that's where I got the idea <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what we're gonna do Michael is we're gonna do a walk around around the outside of it here okay. and then we'll step on the inside and take it from there how's okay. that sounds good all right so we'll go ahead and get started where would you like to start uh, wherever you I'll follow you let's just head over here towards the front of the trailer okay. that seems to be where all the business is going all right. on alrighty all right. okay and the first thing I see is you've got a mini split yes here and uh, what size what size is this one this is a 9,000 you know I have people ask me this all the time uh, and you have the same brand that we have as a matter of fact too but people ask me all the time do you have any trouble staying cool no sir he'll freeze you out yes like yeah. an ice box absolutely and they're just so noisy aren't they uh yeah that's <laughs> what they say <laughs> But no, it's not. I mean, I'm sitting here next to it, and I can hear you just as good. Yeah. It's very quiet. And on the inside, you don't hardly hear nothing exactly. at all. Yeah. We just love ours. But one thing that also I noticed when we were kind of walking around the other day is how you did all your switches and stuff here. So kind of, kind of walk us through that. Tell us a little bit uh, about what you This right on. here is uh, either my antenna I could plug in, or I can plug in, uh, have a satellite, portable satellite dish that I could plug in. Uh, and then if it's antenna, I've got the King antenna, magnetic mount that sits on top. And uh, these plugs here, these are my uh, under lights. And then this one here is a spare one. So ever, if I ever want to add something else to that, and I did show your wife that and the yeah. under lights on it. She really likes that. I know. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got some beautiful uh, blue lights that glow. Blue and white. Blue and white, okay, yes. on the underside of it. And then I have an uh, outlet here to plug in, and it is a GFCI outlet. Okay. Mighty fine. And it looks like, yeah, you use a weight distribution hitch, so that's uh, part of the mouse there that went on the tongue. Yes. And I'm tickled to death to see that you went with the extended tongue. It sure made it a whole lot easier to, to do all that stuff, stuff yes, too. exactly. Yeah. And what we appreciate about our extended tongue is not just that, but the fact that it tows so much it better does. It does. than one that has the standard tongue. And then I've got an electric jack here. I took the old hand crank style off. Okay, it looks like that you made these, uh, of course they're also integral with the mounts to your air conditioner to the outside unit, yes. but this looks like two by two. It is. Okay. Two by two tubing. Standard two by two tubing. Yes. And not only do they house those switches on the ends of them down there, but that's also part of the mounts where you mounted the uh, the outside unit. That's correct. Yeah. And I mounted it with the two by twos <clears throat> so I can have access to my battery still. Right. Yeah. And uh, so you really thought about that one, that's, that's for sure. Yes. And I love your, uh, your 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 flag mount here. Yeah. Yeah. You did a really nice job with that. Thank you. And uh, it really looks nice. And I don't have any trouble finding your trailer. No. You know, with all these cargo trailers here, because your flag is uh, quite a bit higher in the air than most <laughs> of them. You know, so that really helps. Well, let's step on around over here. Okay. And I'll let you just do the talking. Okay. Uh, here I've got my 30 amp inlet going in. Uh, down here is uh, my fresh water inlet. There, and uh, that's pretty much all that's over here. Mm -hmm. And what you did with your refrigeration lines, you uh, took them and tucked them just underneath the uh, the, the tongue here. Yeah, and, and ran them up through the floor right. inside. And, and once we get inside, they'll be able to see that, but you ran them right up in the center of the V. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which uh, made it work out really nice. Um, now, on over here, evidently this is where the gray water comes out. Yes, right here. The gray water comes out, and it's actually quick release disconnect. Uh, I can demonstrate that. You just pull it out like that. Uh -huh. It's got these ends on it. Mm -hmm. Just 
put it back in. And those quick disconnect ends, you can get them at uh, any of the box stores. Yeah, Lowe's, Home Depot, yes. uh, Amazon Online. They're yes. available in a variety of different brands and everything, so they're easy to find. There's That's no correct. problem with that at all. Now, uh, this is a. These are two 3,500 pound axles, right? That is correct. On this one, yes. okay. Have you had an opportunity to get your trailer weighed yet? Uh, yes, and I believe it's around 4,700 pounds all together. All together. Wow. Wow, that uh, that's quite a bit lighter than ours. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. we live in ours, so we're carrying everything. Exactly. Everything that we own, you know, is in the trailer and in the yeah. van. So these are 3,500-pound axles, I'm assuming. That's correct. Okay, mighty fine. Mighty fine. And then I have the tire pressure monitoring system on each of the tires. Yeah. Okay. And of course, you can just uh, you can see all that from inside the cab of your truck. I do. Okay. Yes. All righty. And I see you tow this. Looks like with a, a fifteen hundred. Yes. Uh, four wheel drive, a Chevy Silverado. That's correct. Yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous. And I'm assuming that it tows it just fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Half time you can't tell us back there. <laughs> well, that's the way we like it, don't we? Yes, sir. Now, did you put your own windows in? Uh, no, factory did everything. The okay. windows, the doors, everything. Oh, and what about that light? I, oh, is that a light up there? That is a light that I installed. Uh -huh. uh, and I got one on the back side. Um, and I've got a, another light back there along with a backup camera okay. that's on the back side. And I'm assuming the lights are motion sensitive. Uh, no, they're, oh, they're through not? a switch. Okay. All righty. Mighty fine. So let's walk on back here. Okay. And uh, and I, uh, the, the jacks here, they are uh, the C-type jacks and they are bolted on and welded. Okay. So and they just fold right up inside and they're real low profile type. But they're called a C type jack. Um, now, did the manufacturer put them on? No, or did, I did it. Okay. Yes. And I'm, uh, did you order those jacks from Amazon? Uh, yes. Okay. We'll, uh, I'll try to find them on Amazon and post a link to that type of a jack. Okay. So it's called a C, a C jack. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll check them out or before we part company or you can just send me the link I to can it do that, yes. and then we'll make sure it shows up so people can look and see what this is. Okay. And how do they work? Are they real easy to work? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, about yeah, right here. I'm not I don't know if you can see it, but That's all right. it's just uh, like a regular uh, scissor jack, uh, three quarter inch adapter that oh. you put on, and I just use a drill and, and okay. let them up and down with it. All right, all right. Now here's what I'm curious about. I seem to remember another trailer at one time running around it was red in color that had a back door like this. Yeah, and I don't know whose it was. <laughs> <laughs> But I did get that idea from you. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I am a early morning person. I like to get up early and I'll sneak out the back door and while everybody's still asleep, I can go make my coffee and sit by the fire. Fantastic, fantastic. And of course now we see the uh, the backup camera and the and the light that you have back That's here correct. mounted up there. That's correct. Now now your door looks like it's a wider door than the one we had on the red trailer and taller for that matter too. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't want to bump my head. And who who, who told you about that? Uh, his name's Bill. <laughs> The many scars that he had. <laughs> All the DNA, DNA he left behind. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it is a regular RV style door. <laughs> right. 36 inch. But it's a 36 by probably 78, I think. I think so. That's I think that's what they are when they're a 36 inch wide door. That's what we have in our trailer now. Yeah. Yeah. And man, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, and then of course this is where you mounted your spare tire. Yeah, and it got tore a little bit coming down the road, so it's a little shaggy looking. Yeah, you'll come up with a, yeah, a better something cover. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your mount, uh, it looks like you screwed the mount or or bolted the mount right where there's a metal stud. Well, on the other side. Actually, it is uh, welded up underneath. It's a oh. big old L bracket that I. Oh, made. cool. And it's, it's it's welded, and then this is all bolted. Yeah, you can see it. I can see it down there now. Yeah. I hope they can see it. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Okay. And of course, you have the uh, Q 
keyless entry door locks on That's both correct. doors. Yeah. Yes. And um, somebody showed up at our trailer carrying one of those in a, in a box. And uh, I'm just telling you right now, we really appreciate it. And well, you're quite welcome. Well, we appreciate everything y'all done. Well, well, we can't tell you how much Deb and I appreciate that. Now I've got to take time to figure out how to install it. I'll, I'll, I'll just get you to install it for me while, while you're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they say it takes 10 minutes, and it took me probably about 20, 30. So. Okay. Well, we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. You don't need to worry about it. We got, <laughs> we got too many things going on. Anyway. It's another project added to the list. Yeah. Well, hey, that's a never-ending list, too. No, it's not. Uh, you always think of something else to do. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I know exactly what you're saying. All right. Well, this is the walk around on the outside, so what we're fixing to do now, we're going to step inside and take a peek inside, and folks, you're in for a real treat. Okay. I've already seen it, and <laughs> you're going to like it. All right. We'll be right back. All right. Now we're standing inside. And uh, the, and we're looking towards the front of the trailer, of course. But the first thing I noticed, Michael, that uh, like me, uh, you appear to be a NASCAR fan. I am. Yeah, fantastic. In fact, you're planning on going to Talladega. That's uh, correct, in October. Well, uh, April and October. Uh, all righty. Fabulous. But anyway, here we're here inside your 7x18 trailer, and the first thing i got to say, I'm just going to do a quick kind of turnaround sweep here. Folks, I want you to get a load of how roomy this trail this trailer looks I mean it just really looks nice and clean and roomy and that's just all there is to it and it's a seven wide on top of that uh, first thing of course I noticed is this is where you have your air handler on the inside mounted and I can see where you brought the refrigeration lines up and ran it you know pretty close to the center of the V and you went ahead and used the tube that you can get for them you know to put your lines into mm -hmm. and running right into uh, the uh, air handler unit here and then of course this is where uh, you have your uh, Tell us what that is. That is the uh, ACDC distribution center box. Okay. And then right here is all my uh, DC uh, outlets uh, for the outside lights to turn them on. Even though I do have switches outside, this will actually control them. If I'm inside, I can still control them. And then I've got uh, where I can plug in cigarette lighters, to charge stuff. And this one here is the USB that you plug in some USB cables. Okay. And then the unit over there to the right? This is uh, my 30 amp uh, watchdog, is what they call them. It's hardwired in. Uh, that's a surge protector, and I really like it. Mm -hmm. It saved me a couple times. Yeah, so you've been near some pretty bad storms and stuff? Yes, and Lightning it would also let me know uh, there's problems with the campground power. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I really like it. Well, good. Yeah, uh, we uh, we did a video about the fact that we need something like that, and we still have yet to get one. And uh, I'm liking the looks of this one here, so I'm gonna see if they have one available in a 50 amp unit, which I'm sure they probably do. They do. Yeah, fab fabulous. And then you've got a standard residential type fridge. Yes, and it's I think a it 10.1, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was trying to look and see how you had it anchored. Uh, uh, there's a, a strap right down here that I leave because it's hooked in the back side mm -hmm. and it wraps around and then on the back side here there's uh, the hook that straps it in. Okay. Oh yeah. We can see the hook now. I can see the hook right there. So you just run that around there and, and strap it and it looks like uh, you added an extra board for a shim. Yeah. There's one at the top there and at the bottom that okay. sits out and then this here will shut the freezer while the other part will hold the fridge and the door right so it just takes you know a couple minutes and and uh of cinching it down and you're ready to hit the trail that's correct yeah now these cabinets here tell me about uh tell me about uh how you ended up with those uh, these cabinets here uh from here on down we actually got them off the marketplace. Somebody was building a house and they had the wrong uh, dimension. So we pretty much stole these cabinets uh, They had a good price. Uh, we've had this for about a year now. And this cabinet here, we actually purchased at uh, a box store. 
and me and my wife decided that we would like to have a sink so we added the sink uh, about a month ago matter of fact okay so this was our first trip out here with the new sink and all the plumbing and everything that we ran and down here I have a four gallon water heater okay very nice and my wife said that was the favorite thing of the whole trailer conversion was to have her sink she was uh -huh. very happy well we gotta we gotta make them happy that's correct <laughs> <laughs> makes <laughs> life happier oh yes all the way around yes and where did this uh where did this couch come this from? couch here came out of a, a rv someone had bought a new rv and they don't want the couch part it folds out into a bed uh they took it out and put uh recliners in so i got this at a real good price and i I love to shop around a marketplace. Uh, that's where a lot of this stuff came from other than Amazon. Amazon's probably about ninety percent of ordering everything from mm -hmm. for this. Amazon is a really good source. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. sit at home and make you up a list and wait for it to come to you. Just wait for it to be delivered out that's, front. That's correct. That's for sure. And this right here, uh I got this design from y'all. Uh there's a little cubicle shelf and then uh, I've got it hooked here on both sides and when we're traveling we just pull this up like that and it holds everything in place fantastic works real and well it's bolted to the wall but I've actually got L brackets that it's mounted to also just for double security you can't have enough of that because I always say this and I'm not the one that came up with this saying someone else I heard it from someone else but these trailers are rolling earthquakes going down that's the road correct. so you can't make stuff secure enough I that's mean that's correct there's and no such thing as you still kill. worry about oh yeah going down the road wondering if something fell <laughs> yeah yeah now these overhead cabinets here that that was part of this uh, deal with these cabinets here okay um, so we just kind of utilized the upper cabinet part of it and then we added uh, these little basket shelves for storage and while we're up here we'll point out that this is a combination smoke detector and carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide. and the smoke detector okay and then you've got another uh, dedicated smoke detector back there above the bed that's correct all righty and, so. and two fire extinguishers at both doors there you go all right now the bed is a full size full size bed yes okay and do you have uh, a setup for storage underneath oh uh, yeah there's uh, some little boxes and storage okay. stuff up underneath mighty fine and that looks like just a standard is that a household that's type dresser you got yeah just a there? standard nightstand mm -hmm. yeah okay that we never used and i said well <laughs> i'll just stick it in here there you go and i noticed uh where'd, where'd that come from that's that right there uh i had a friend of mine uh that makes them and he, he made it for me mm -hmm. well that looks that's very unique and it uh, really stands out mm -hmm. really really does and uh looks like you've got on that wall there that's uh that tells you all the concurrent conditions outside is that what that yes, does? yes that's correct okay and uh then you've got your nice looking tv you know right over the bed mm -hmm. and uh and then the, the bluetooth speaker uh mount speaker that controls the tv mm -hmm. and can play music off your cell phones there you go well this is just really really neat it really is oh i see here on this receptacle you got several outlets around it but then you've also got some usb, USB ports here in the center yes. mm -hmm. on that now tell us how you got it insulated tell uh, us how you the insulation that. is two inches in the walls and two inches in the ceiling okay uh it's inch and a half and then i ran fern strips and added another half inch layer to the fern strips and we put the same walls back up and just painted them and then the ceiling is just the uh a regular little panel mm -hmm. uh, like a luon luon plywood yeah paneling. Mm -hmm. yeah we just left it natural mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the power roof vent right there all righty 
And a lot of your wiring you have in chaseways behind your crown molding trim. That's correct. Here. So where I can get quick access to it if I need it. Very good. Very uh, good. And I don't know who taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm really <laughs> loving it. I sure am. And um, tell us about your floor. Uh, this is uh, the waterproof vinyl planks. Uh, the kind of click together? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And oh. it's, uh, we didn't insulate the floor because we got uh, probably about a quarter inch of padding underneath the flooring. And then we put the flooring down and then the bottom side's got a little bit of uh, cushion to it also. Sure. Sure. So. Yeah, well, on this last one, we did put three quarter inch insulation, but you know, I don't really notice a whole, as far as the floor is concerned, I don't notice a whole lot of difference between it and the red trailer, which where we didn't have any insulation yeah. on it. But yeah, uh, yeah uh, I don't, I don't camp out much in the very cold climate, so I couldn't tell you if it worked or not. I understand. <laughs> and that's what I tell everybody. The reason, one of the reasons why we build our trailer is because we didn't want to be in real cold temperatures. Although now and then we get stuck in areas for a little while where it does turn cold before we can get back down to warmer climates but yes. uh and i guess it's handy for that that's correct you know and and like you've always said you build to suit your needs exactly yeah we can't say that enough mm -hmm. you know it uh you know people watching the video there might be things that they don't like but they also might find some things that they do like mm -hmm. and then they can utilize those things that they did like in their trailer which they are building to suit their needs that's correct right exactly exactly well this is just fabulous it truly is fabulous uh, one more thing here okay. uh, this right here is what they call the uh, level pro uh, device and you hook it you level your trailer up first and then you sync this to your cell phone and then when you get to your spots you can turn this part on and it links to your cell phone they'll tell you what side you need to raise how much front and back you need to raise or drop wow so that's that's been very handy and what brand is that it is a level mate pro a level mate pro yes and uh well, I'm sure you could probably find that on Amazon or E-Trailer or, or yeah, any place. I got it off Amazon. You got it off Amazon? Yes. All righty. All right. Mighty fine. Okay. Uh, why don't we go back outside and get back with uh, Cheryl and Anthony and okay. we'll say our goodbyes. What do you think? That sounds good. All right. Let's run back outside. Okay. Well, guys, uh, Michael, Cheryl, and Anthony, I got to tell you, uh, this trailer is just simply fabulous. You've done a fantastic job on it. And... Uh, Deb and I are really flattered that you used a lot of our ideas in the build on this and uh of course, you communicated with us often, which we appreciate too, you know, and I'm so happy that we were able to help. Thank you. And uh, I know you're going to have a lot of enjoyable years with this trailer, sure enough. And we hope to see you also at the next uh, Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous, which will be probably sometime in October. Okay. But anyway, for now, we're going to say goodbye. And you know exactly what we're going to say at the end of it. We are not camping. We are living. Absolutely. Thank you so much.